is a symptom of an underlying condition rather than a diagnosis in itself. Essentially, it refers to pain caused by compression or irritation of the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve is the longest nerve in your body, running from your lower back, through your buttocks, down the back of your legs, and then into your feet. Symptoms can include pain in the back and or the legs, pain, tingling, burning, or numbness or weakness in the legs or feet, pain in the buttocks, or difficulty straightening the leg or walking. So what causes sciatica? There are many different causes, but we'll try to outline the main ones. However, there are many others that aren't on this list. Disc prolapses. This is when a protruding disc can put pressure on the nearby nerves. Degenerative disease of the spine, which is spondylosis, commonly known as wear and tear or osteoarthritis. Piriformis syndrome is when a muscle deep in the buttock can put pressure on the nerve as it passes underneath. Spinal stenosis is a narrowing of the space between the nerve vertebrae where the nerve passes through. Or pregnancy, the position of the baby can either stress the sciatic nerve or put pressure directly onto it. It's vital to understand the exact cause of your sciatica to ensure that you get the most appropriate treatment. A thorough examination and assessment by musculoskeletal experts such as an osteopath would be advisable. In most cases of sciatica, they respond well to physical therapies such as osteopathy to help to improve the range of movement in the joints, reduce pain and reduce the muscle tension, as well as getting advice about rehabilitative exercises. Speaking to your GP to get adequate pain relief may also be helpful. In rare cases, surgery may be required, but this should be a last resort when other conservative measures have failed.